Okay, so a uh, long time ago, Einstein made a riddle, and this riddle consists of, well, I put it up there, but this riddle consists of a story that there are five houses with five different people of five different nationalities. Um, we're having five different colors house, five different drinks, five different brands of cigars, and five different pets. And the question is, who has the fish? Well, how do you do that? Um, first of all, if you want to solve this riddle by yourself, please end the video. Um, quite simply because this is one big spoiler. Um, so if you haven't clicked me away, here, here we go. Uh, first of all, we know in of we know a couple of rules. I've numbered them for my own convenience. Uh, but the first rule is in house number three. There's milk. So the guy in house number three drinks drinks milk. Um, furthermore, we have uh, the Norwegian guy is in house number one. And we also get that in, of the, or that's next door to the Norwegian guy, we have a blue house. So that's the first part. Then we also have the fourth rule, and that's um, the white and the green houses are next to each other, and the green house is to the left of the white house. So that leaves us only two options. Um, that leaves us the option white, green, or white, green. Because in the other two options, uh, the other two slots, there's no pro possibility to put either the white or the green house because we already have the blue one. Uh, but we also have the rule that the guy in the green house drinks coffee. And, well, um, in house number three, the guy drinks milk. So we know that this cannot be true. Leaving only this one. Uh, leaving only this option. So. The next rule that we're going to use is the rule that the Brit lives in the red house. So, house number one is an Norwegian guy living. House number two is blue. Uh, house number three is an option. Four and five also already have colors assigned, so they don't count anymore. Um, so we have the British guy from Great Britain living in the red house. Okay, um, let's see where am I at, because I'm, I did make some notes, because it's, it's just a bit too hard to remember, I think. And this is a one take video. Uh, so what do we have anymore? Uh, yeah, we have the colors of the house. Blue, red, green, white, but there's also a yellow house. And that the only option is that house number one is yellow. But in the yellow house, we also know that we have Dunhill smoked. And in the house next to the Dunhill is a horse. So we have a lot of options already put down. Uh, now we are getting to a bit of a hard part and I really need some extra notes. Um, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, the Danish guy drinks tea. So we need to have an option where we have nationality 
and a country avail available. Uh, sorry, and a drink available. And well, it looks like two, four, five. But in the greenhouse we have coffee. So the Danish guy can only live in house number two or five where he's drinking tea. Okay, I know the correct answer is two, but first let's assume Danish guy lives in or is going to live in house number five. Then we get that when the Danish guy lives in house number five, we have T in house number five. Um, but when we have T in house number five, uh, we get rule number 12, the blue master with beer. Uh, because we need a drink and a cigarette, we can only pu put the beer with blue master in house number two. All the other options are cancelled. But that also that directly means that in house number one we have water. And when we look at rule number 15, the blend is supposed to be next to the water. But we have water and we have blue masters. So when we have the water and the blue masters, uh, the blends don't fit. So this option in blue doesn't work. Leaving the only other solution and that is that the Danish guy has to be living in house number two, where he's drinking his tea. Okay, um, that also directly means that the beer blue master combination is only available in house number five. Because that's the only place where it still fits. Um, and that gives us another slot directly to fill. Because we have, uh, let's see, we have the German guy who smokes prints. And the German guy that smokes prints can only be put in house number four. Because all the other houses already have either a nationality assigned or a single brand assigned. Okay, in house number five we get the Swede. Uh, we get him by default because all the other nationalities are taken. Uh, we have all the colors, so that leaves us the drink. Um, which is water in house number one. And we have water in house number one. Okay, easy. Um, but that also means that we have the blend in house number two. And when we have the blend in house number two, we have to have the cat in one or three, but we also already know that we have the Paul Mall with the birds in one location. And house number one has the Dunhill, uh, four and five also have cigarette brands, so we only can put, or we can only put the bird with the Paul Mall. in house number three, giving us a cat in house number one and showing us that the only option we have left, oh wait a minute, <laughs> I'm going too fast because I already filled it in, but 
uh, I'm sorry, we do have a Swedish guy who owns a dog. So now we can say that the German guy owns the fish. Okay. Um, that's it. And I hope you haven't laughed too hard about my accent because uh, this is the first time in four years that I've spoken English out loud. So <laughs> I. I'm actually getting annoyed by my accent myself, so I have a bit of training to do before I cast another video in another language besides Dutch. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and maybe next time, or if you want to study Dutch and you want to do some physics, chemistry, uh, please look at my other 300, 400, whatever is online videos.